Uh, I wanted to do an aquavit that I use quite a lot of juniper berries because I experienced from the gin that with the technique we are doing you, and the potato spirit you kind of extract the richness and, and, and the softness from the juniper berry and also it's an it's a aroma that fits very good to aquavit. <laughs> it's matured for uh, 24 months. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's a kind of mild, uh, it's a, a mild aquavit. It's matured in uh, first and second fill or also sherry casks. As I said, it's a kind of mild, mild aquavit. It's very well balanced. When I, when I smell it, it's clear uh, caraway, of course, uh, but it has this uh, richness from the cherry cask as well, this kind of toffee that you get from first and second fill. But also it has a uh, quite clear anise uh, side to it and also uh, juniper. When I try this one, it, it, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, very rich when it hits your tongue, but it's not intense. It's very well balanced, but And it has this enormous soft uh, uh, sherry uh, notes as well that kind of makes it very mellow when it hits your tongue. But then you feel there is a lot of intensity happening. There's a lot of things happening all the way through. It's a very long taste.